In this nugget, we're going to learn about the character Theseus from the play A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. Let's make a timeline of all of the key events from the play in which Theseus is involved. In Act 1, we learn that Theseus and Hippolyta are to marry. He is impatient to marry, whereas she is more patient. Aegeus brings a complaint to Theseus about his daughter Hermia, who refuses to marry Demetrius. Theseus gives Hermia three options. Marry Demetrius, die by execution, or become a nun. Theseus does not appear in Act 2, and nor does he appear in Act 3. In both of these acts, all of the action revolves around the four lovers, Helena, Hermia, Demetrius and Lysander, who are in the forest. In Act 4, Theseus and Hippolyta are hunting in the forest with Aegeus. They discover the four lovers. Theseus says the two happy couples can marry. In the final act, Act 5, they all watch the workmen's play at the wedding celebrations. Now let's remind ourselves of some of the key facts about Theseus. Theseus is the Duke of Athens, which means he rules Athens. In Act 1, Aegeus brings his complaint about his daughter to Theseus, expecting him to decide her fate and uphold the law. Aegeus is demanding Hermia's death, but Theseus offers Hermia three options. He says that she could marry Demetrius, die by execution, or become a nun. At the end of the play, when the two couples are happily in love, Aegeus is still demanding Lysander and Hermia be punished. But Theseus overrules Aegeus and decides to allow Lysander and Hermia to marry, and Demetrius and Helena to marry. Here are some key words we might use to describe Theseus. He's romantic and in love with Hippolyta, and he is a fair ruler and a symbol of order. The Shakespearean audience would have recognised the reference to Theseus, a character from Greek mythology. According to Greek mythology, Theseus was a hero who founded and ruled Athens. In mythology, he was seen as a king, but he's referred to as a duke in the play. One of the most famous stories is Theseus and the Minotaur, in which Theseus kills the Minotaur, a terrible monster. In the opening lines of the play, we learn that Theseus is going to marry Hippolyta. In mythology, Hippolyta was the queen of the Amazons, but she was defeated in battle by Theseus, and they then get married. Theseus is impatient to marry and says, but oh, methinks how slow this old moon wanes. When he says the moon is waning slowly, he means that time is passing slowly. Theseus describes time as dragging slowly, suggesting he's impatient to marry Hippolyta. This, in turn, suggests that he is romantic and loving. Aegeus brings his complaint about his daughter to Theseus, expecting him to decide her fate and uphold the law. Theseus is fair and asks Hermia for her opinion. What say you, Hermia? Be advised, fair maid. To you, your father should be as a god, one that composed your beauties, ye, and one to whom you are but as a form in wax, by him imprinted, and within his power, to leave the figure or disfigure it. Demetrius is a worthy gentleman. Theseus is fair. He asks Hermia for her opinion on events when he says, What say you, Hermia? He reminds Hermia that she should be obedient to her father when he says, To you, your father should be as a god. Theseus points out that Demetrius is a good man and would make a good husband. We see that Theseus is a symbol of order and he upholds the law. Shakespeare shows that Theseus upholds and enforces the law when Aegeus brings his complaint about his daughter. However, Shakespeare also suggests that Theseus is fair, showing that he is a fair and good ruler. Whilst Aegeus demands the harsh punishment of death for Hermia's disobedience, Theseus offers an alternative, less harsh punishment to death. He says that Hermia can choose to become a nun. Theseus tells Hermia she will need to choose, either to die the death or to abjure forever the society of men. He offers her two alternatives to marrying Demetrius, he says that she can choose death, execution, like her father demands, or she can choose to become a nun. Becoming a nun will mean never marrying or meeting a man. Now let's consider the ending of the play, which is a happy one. At the end of the play, Theseus encounters the four young lovers, Helena, Hermia, Demetrius and Lysander, sleeping in the forest. When the four young lovers are discovered, the two couples are now happily in love. Theseus decides to override the wishes of Aegeus, who wished to punish Lysander and Hermia. Instead, he will allow the two young couples to wed who they wish. You could argue that this is a romantic decision, and the audience may suspect that it is his own romantic love for Hippolyta that influences his kind and fair decision here. 
Theseus announces that he will allow the two couples to marry, saying, Fair lovers, you are fortunately met. Of this discourse we more will hear anon. Aegeus, I will overbear your will, for in the temple, by and by, with us, these couples shall eternally be knit. Theseus uses romantic language. He says the couples shall eternally be knit, which means tied together forever by marriage. This image echoes Lysander's earlier sentiment that his heart was knit to Hermia's. Earlier in the play, he said that their hearts were knit. <laughs>